let's take a look at some of the interface enhancements featured in Cubase Pro 8. Working with any recording package entails managing lots of different windows from the project window to mix consoles to plug-in interfaces, virtual instruments, uh, score editors, media bay, etc. So Cubase 8 has introduced a lot of new enhancements with this to make this much easier. Previous versions of Cubase on the Windows platform had a background window that would need to be stretched across and then you could place windows freely on this background area. Sometimes opening up windows like the VST instrument rack or media bay could actually cause the main project window to kind of shrink to half size unless manually maximized. These interface uh, oddities are kind of gone with Cubase Pro 8 as we've now switched to a multiple document interface. So opening one window doesn't affect the state of another window. Uh, if I have multiple projects open, you can now just Windows tab and go through all your different projects just that easily. Workspaces have also been enhanced as well. They work much better and kind of as expected. So if you wanted to uh, come here, you could add workspaces and you could give them a name and you could actually have them be global or for a particular project. So if I wanted to organize some of my workspaces and we could fire these off with uh, keyboard shortcuts, we could just say, okay, I want to organize the workspaces and now I want to see my main project window. I wanted to see my mix console full. I wanted to see uh, my virtual instruments that I have for this particular project I need to be to edit quite a bit. So very easy effective management of workspaces. Now we've also incorporated a new rack zone and this could be enabled or disabled by going to the upper left hand corner and at this point choosing the racks and once we have the racks enabled we have two different choices so I could see all of my VST instruments within my project or we could have media bay so if you wanted to just drag and drop an instrument preset we could create a virtual instrument track directly from there or drag and drop audio directly into your timeline it's very simple to just do and have all these different tasks right here. And if you don't want to see it, again, all you have to do is just come right here and select that. Now, a lot of functions can be found directly in our inspector. And if you want to hide or close the inspector, you could do that from the same window area here. Uh, and we could do so much from the inspector. And as the features in Cubase have grown, so has the inspector list. So if you wanted to kind of get an idea of stuff that you could do in the inspector, and we always had to kind of juggle our different inspector tabs. So if I wanted to have multiple tabs open, we can now just scroll up and down so I don't have to always constantly open and close different inspector tabs. Everyone has a lot of different plugins in their system as well. So there's, we have a new plugin manager. So at this point we could add collections. So if I say, let's just come directly here. Uh, let's add a collection. We'll start with empty and say, I want to use these plugins for vocals. So regardless of manufacturer, I can now just select these plugins here and I'll just randomly select some. We could drag it. I can make a new collection and say we want to use uh, this collection. We'll call it for guitars. And drag these into our plugin manager. So now when I want to actually load up my plugins, I could click here and I see my guitar setting here. I could say, okay, now I just want to go to my vocal settings or I just want to see my default settings. So now you can organize the plugins as you see fit, how you want your plugins to be seen, regardless of manufacturer, regardless of what type of plugin it is. So as you can see, the new user interface enhancements in Cubase Pro 8 will make your workflow much faster.